Hey y'all, what's good beautiful people? It's your girl Tay and I'm here yet again with another update video. So definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, plus push your post notification bell button so that when anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. All right, you guys, so happy Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, you guys. Um, what's been going on? We're not even going to get into any of that. If you guys are following, if you're not following me already on my uh, lifestyle, beauty and lifestyle channel, which is where I do all of my updates. I said I was going to stop doing them over there. Definitely check out the description box as I will have a link for that channel down below. Okay, so let's jump into the news. I found a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you guys about that it seemed pretty important to me. First thing being that Los Angeles County has decided to extend the eviction moratorium, approving relief funds for landlords. Okay one week before they were set to expire the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors just recently this past Tuesday extended by two months its tenant protections against eviction for those impacted by the uh, pandemic while also approving the establishment of 45 million dollars relief fund for small landlords who have been unable to collect rent rent from some tenants supervisors Lindsay Horvath and Hilda Salas originally asked their colleagues to extend the tenant protections protections i'm sorry through june that extension met with opposition on the board most notably uh from board chair janice han who said she would not support such a long extension han indicated she would be supportive of a shorter time frame uh leading to march 31st compromise horvath said the extension was essential to assist renters who continue to be impacted by the c19 pandemic with the magnitude of people still getting sick still out of work and continuing to um lose their lives of course due to this emergency it is essential that we keep folks cared for in stable housing she said in a statement following the vote the extension was met with anger from property owners who addressed the board many criticizing members for refusing to end tenant protections that landlords claim has led some renters to simply stop paying rent in some cases for years without any financial assistance being provided to owners that concern prompted supervisor Catherine barger to introduce an amending motion to establish 45 million dollar relief for small property owners Okay, the board has previously instructed the Department of Consumer and Business Affairs to design an assistance program for small landlords and the agency initially recommended a $5 million program. The motion for, from Barger and Supervisor Holly Mitchell expands that program to $45 million, providing assistance of up to $30,000 per rental unit. I think that this is absolutely fabulous. So some good news there. Okay, we've got some rental protection being extended in Los Angeles County. So I know if you're in Los Angeles County, you've definitely got to be happy about that. And moving on from that, a couple of updates regarding the IRS. So if you don't know, the IRS did open up to start accepting refunds on... I'm not, returns i should say returns um on the 23rd so it says the 23rd marks the first day of the 2023 tax filing season in the united states okay the department of internal revenue service also known as the irs um is expected to receive over 168 million individual tax returns between now and april the 18th deadline the 2023 tax filing season will also represent another step toward a return to normal with 2020 and 2000 2021 being mayored by lockdowns that were in place to protect against the virus okay it says why is this year's tax deadline on april the 18th this year will also will this year will also see filers have three extra days to file their returns as of april the 15th the usual deadline to file your taxes falls on a saturday the rules state that when the deadline falls on a weekend the irs moves the deadline day to the next business day however the following monday is emancipation day a holiday recognized in washington dc where the irs is headquartered meaning that the deadline will fall on tuesday which is april the 18th now let's talk about when the irs is expected to start sending out the refunds and you know this information is going to change um a lot and i am definitely going to set aside a some time to do a video that is dedicated specifically to taxes and all things tax i am not a financial advisor let me just say that so the information that i provide to you will not be me giving you financial advice it will be me providing you information more so for entertainment purposes i have to give a disclaimer because i don't want nobody coming on here saying you you are not, uh, what's the word? 
authorized or experienced enough, you are right. And this is not my area of expertise. This is me being a consumer, uh, researching information and then providing it to you as well. Okay. So moving on from that, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is the chart? It's giving me a lot of nonsense that I don't want to read about right now. So I may actually have to go to the IRS website to look for that information because it says, um, it goes without saying, but the earlier one, the earlier one files their taxes, the sooner they will receive their refunds, especially since March is typically when the IRS experiences its highest traffic. OK, it is also important to note that those claiming earned income tax credit or the child tax credit will experience a delay of two to three weeks as the IRS verifies these claims. So I actually saw on and I'm going to take a look um, at it right now as I'm explaining it to you guys. But I actually saw um, at just glancing for those who are filing with those credits, the earned income tax credit or the child tax credit. I actually saw that they were not going to release those refunds until I believe February the 28th. Yeah, you heard that right. Um, IRS, hold on you guys. Let's see if we can get some information. Give me one moment. Okay, you guys, so I didn't actually find a table. I'm I'm going to find it. I'm going I'm, to I'm update you guys real soon on this information. But what I did find, and this is actually on the IRS website. I'm going to see if I can put like a little screenshot of this actually on the screen for you guys. But it says most refunds issued in less than 21 days. It says EITC. We all know that that is a bunch of nonsense. And when they say 21 days, they mean 21 business days. Sometimes I've had them tell me that that actually includes Saturday because sometimes they will um, submit. I forgot the exact verbiage that they use if that's even a word but i ex i forgot the exact words that they use to describe it but sometimes they will submit payments to go out on a saturday so that they can be um approved hopefully to go out by the following week if that makes any sense um but Again, that 21 days does not include the weekends and it does not obviously include any holidays. Most refunds issued in less than 21 days, EITC, which is the Earned Income Tax Credit Refunds, for many available starting February the 20s, the 20s, the 28th. The IRS anticipates most taxpayers will receive their refund within 21 days of when they file electronically if they choose a direct deposit and there are no issues with their tax return. Again, if there are no issues with your tax return and sometimes you still end up having issues with your tax return and there are no issues with your tax return, if you know what I mean. And that is because sometimes I know last year there was this thing where a lot of tax returns actually got sent to uh, this one department that was responsible for doing um, an audit on them when there was actually no issue with the tax return at all. So hopefully that doesn't happen this year. But like I said, you know, you can never you can never settle on an exact date or an exact exact timeline especially when it comes to the irs i know it's really unfortunate especially as a lot of people are suffering right now but we're all just going to have to bear and grunt through it because there's really nothing else that we can do calling them 25 times a day is really not going to help all it does is help to keep the lines congested so that other people can't call in and then in the end nobody's getting the information that they need or the service that they need anyway okay Awaiting processing of previous tax returns, people can still file for 2022. Currently, the IRS has processed all paper and electronic individual taxpayer tax year 2021 returns received prior to November the 22nd. Now, that's all the information I'm going to give you guys as it pertains to the IRS at this moment. Again, I'm going to try to do a more dedicated video giving you guys specific information about certain things that you may want to hear about, okay? But we're not going to do that in this video. I think that was the most important thing. Um, right now moving on from that hold on you guys one second one second Okay, so we've got some weather reports for Texas as soon as it pops up it says Storm system dumps heavy wet snow on Indiana and Michigan. I hope you guys are doing well if you are in either of those states. Heavy wet snow, part of a storm system that spawned for tornadoes in the Houston area, has covered roads, vehicles, houses, and buildings Wednesday from central and northern Indiana into much of southeastern Michigan. About six inches of snow was expected to fall on the Detroit area, while four inches was reported before noon in eastern Indiana. Just southwest 
northwest of Fort Wayne, said Maddie Johnson of the National Weather Service in North Indiana. Y'all let me know if you guys live in either one of these states or any state for that matter. Let me know what's the weather like where you are right now, where I am right now in California. It's raining. It's been cold. It's kind of been going back and forth. We had like a whole week of rain and then we had a couple of days of a little bit of scattered skies, uh, meaning it would be sunny and then the next minute it would be looking like it's going to rain, but then it never did actually rain. Okay, um, and then last night it did come down pretty, pretty heavy. We got some really heavy rain, and then today not so much. I haven't had a look outside to see if it's raining right now, but the weather is definitely fluctuating okay i can't say i'm mad at it you guys already know how i feel that's why i'm sitting here in my uh onesie feeling comfortable fluffy and warm okay anyways i'm moving on from that um let's see here I think that's the last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about in this particular video. We are going to end off, of course, with emergency SNAP maximum benefits for the month of February. I'm not going to give you guys a payout date. We're just going to go through the names of the states that have currently been approved as soon as that comes up. So give me one moment for that. I don't see the sign. Oh, no, it's still here. I was going to say, I don't see the sign anymore that says that the emergency SNAP maximum benefits are actually going to end um, in February, but I still see it here. Okay, so currently, and we do have a couple of new states that wasn't on here the last time that I did give you guys this information. We have Alabama, California, Colorado, Delaware, D.C., Hawaii, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, New Hampshire, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia and Wisconsin. All right, you guys, as always, I hope this information has been in some way helpful or useful to you guys in the least little bit. Do me a favor if you haven't already. Don't forget to smash that like button because it really does help to let YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and you want me to stick around. Let's truly run them numbers up, you guys. It costs you no money. It's free 99 to support your girl. Let YouTube know that you're trying to keep me around for a little bit longer. And let's see. I was feeling a little bit pink, but I think in spite of my beautiful flowers back there, let's go ahead and drop some yellow or gold hearts or the color the word yellow uh in the comment section down below let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video definitely don't forget to let me know you guys what the weather is like i'm really curious to know what the weather is like where you guys are and drop your state down below in the comment section as well as always you guys i'm going to encourage you to remember to live love elevate head on over to my beauty and lifestyle channel if you haven't already and i will definitely see you guys in the next video peace y'all bye my loves flower shaking and stuff.